Okay, so we have Feng Shui consultant Dr. Joey Yap with us this morning. Okay, um, Joey, you know, you give us a lot of great advice for the various different zodiac signs. You. Yes. And, um, you know, and sometimes it's pretty specific advice. Sometimes like, it's know, not. <laughs> sometimes it's not. But, you know, a lot of the time it's general good advice that anyone can follow. Mm -hmm. But if you are of, say, zodiac sign A mm -hmm. and you take the advice for zodiac sign B, C, D, and E, mm -hmm. Um, can you not expect the same kind of outcome? Yeah, so the problem is people assume that uh, they only have one animal sign. Mm -hmm. Actually, they do have the year, month, day, and hour animal sign. So when you're listening to the sign of the horse, let's say, but you're not the horse, but you, pres you assume the advice for the horse, but actually you might have horse for the day and the hour that you are not aware of. Right. So that it will work for you as well. And also, the all the the readings that we do in astrology it is not fortune telling it is about understanding what opportunities what options are there so we're trying to get a better optics of the year and by exercising them only by pursuing them will we be able to you know benefit from the positive and or you know right. avoid the negative stars along the way so uh, for example starting a business right not all the signs have the opportunity to start the business with a bang right some of them for example the dragon might have those opportunities mm -hmm. but you don't have it let's say you are not the dragon you don't want not in the month of dragon you don't have a dragon in the year you don't have any of these stars you're not but, a dragon right? how and, sad is that <laughs> but you want to start a business right mm -hmm. so what to do well you see the problem is people always think that they are the center of the universe they think that you know it's got to be me 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 and not all about me but you know, the success and failure of a business also greatly depends on who you're working with, right? right? You have co-founders, you have partners, right? And you have people working with you that could help you succeed or bring you down, right? So if you don't have the dragon in charge, but you do have one working with you, mm -hmm. that could be a great value. So that advice, you're, you're, you're taking the advice for the dragon, right. but you're applying because there's someone in the dragon in your life right now. And that helps you get the, the goal that you want. And that's, that applies to everything in life as well. For example, even education, right? You're studying something. We could study something on our own, but with the help of good mentors, teachers, they can inspire us to actually become better, and that's a very good education as well. So everything in life, it's my philosophy, I think, you know, comes from the help of other people. So, you know, when we are taking one advice, well, we are doing it, but we, do, we always need to know that there are also other animal signs that we are interacting right. with, and that makes a huge difference to the outcome. Okay, well, I think any good advice that you can follow, just do it, lads. Take it, right? Yes. All right. Thank you so Thank much, you Joey. Thank you so much. Thank you.